We, we can continue to go back and forth on whether you think the two-point conversion was a good call or not. It wasn't, but we could talk about that later. But anyway, this, this is something that really like caught my attention out of nowhere. Initially, I hadn't even seen it. But shout out to my guy, uh, Time to Fly, my guy. He hit me up on Twitter in a DM, and he says, does this mean anything in your opinion? So the tweet that he sent me was that uh, from Ian Rappaport, where it said, Ravens first round wide receiver Rashad Bateman has new representation, signing with Andre Oldman, A1, A1 Murph of Athletes First, to be his agents. So Rashad Bateman got a new agent. And... Initially, when I first read that, I wrote him back right away. I said no. And then I read it again. And I said, I hope not. And then I read it again. And then that's when it really started concerning me. Because you know how we always talk about how timing is everything. It's absolutely everything. The timing of this is very suspect. Because Rashad Bateman, he's a rookie. First round draft pick by the Baltimore Ravens. We love his game. Yeah, he's had some hiccups over the past couple of weeks. Like yesterday, he had a drop and he had a false start. Then the week before that, he had a drop that led to an interception. I mean, who knows? By the way things were going, if he wouldn't even touch the ball, it might have been an interception anyway. But Rashad Bateman, when we've seen him with the ball in his hands... He makes stuff happen. He's the chain mover. He is the first down king. And a lot of times, there have been a lot of times when Rashad Bateman has been wide open. Wide open. But Lamar hasn't even seen him. Hasn't even seen him. Hasn't even looked his way. Uh, so the, the timing of Rashad Bateman getting new representation, it scares me. It really does. And I'm not trying to get on here and scare y'all about the Ravens first round draft pick. I'm just keeping it real with y'all how I feel about it. Because we, we, we've seen it and I, I keep telling people, I keep saying it over and over and over. It's so crazy to me how when this guy we drafted Rashad Bateman in the first round at pick, what was it, pick 27, whatever the pick was. They drafted Rashad Bateman and then he got hurt. So he was out. What the first I want to say four or five weeks of the regular season So he was out for a while So when he finally came back I was thinking Alright Rashad Bateman he's a rookie He's a rookie wide receiver And this Ravens oh, he, His first game back He's probably going to play like maybe Nine to ten snaps Something super small It's not going to be He's not going to get a lot of work He's not why, why would he? He's just coming back from injury. They're not going to just throw him out there like that. In fact, the previous week before he came back, it was said that the Ravens were thinking about putting him in that game. But they were like, oh, you know what? No, no, no. We'll just wait another week. So you could tell that the Ravens were going to be extra cautious with Rashad Bateman in his playtime. Nope. Couldn't have been more wrong. And I wasn't mad that I was wrong, but I was just so shocked, but shocked in a good way that the Ravens played Rashad Bateman so much. Coming, coming off of his injury, I was just like surprised. I was like, wow, this guy was out on the field. His first game that he played, he was out on the field so much. Then the following game, he was out there a lot again. And I was like, whoa. Like, Rashad Bateman, like when you watch him in college, you watch film on him in college, great route runner, great hands, got deceptive speed. He's not this burn away, oh, he's going to burn, but... He got some good speed, but the biggest, he knows how to get open. He knows how to get open, and the yak, the yak with Rashad Bateman is a beautiful thing. So his first couple of games, he was getting all this action. I was like, all right, go Bateman, go Bateman, go. Go Bateman, go Bateman, go. But then the Ravens, for some reason, they started saying, no Bateman, no Bateman, no. No Bateman, no Bateman, no. Because his playtime has taken these drastic drops. His involvement has taken these drastic drops. And I'm wondering, like, what is going on? Dolphins game was the first and biggest example from jump. Ravens offense struggling. Can't move the ball for nothing. Of course, we all. Oh, that's when. That's when so many people learned about cover zero from that week. 
But the Ravens' offense was dead, no life, couldn't move the ball. Ugly to see. It was ugly to watch on TV, even ugly in person. And I know a lot of y'all went to that game. Woo. Fun game, though. Atmosphere was great. It was a good time. But anyway, it was ugly. But Rashad Bateman was struggling in the passing game. So usually when you struggle in the passing game, you, you, you try to fix that by getting the ball to your wide receivers, right? But you got number 12 on the sideline. Is he hurt? No. Is, what, is he exhausted or something? No. You got him on the sideline, though. And then, all of a sudden, at the very end of the game, when the game is not necessarily all the way out of reach, but it's pretty much over, that's when you want to get him involved in the game. And you saw what he did. So then, the following week, well, I can't really count that week because it was Tyler Huntley uh, against the Bears. So I won't count that one. But then the Browns game. In the Browns game, in the first half, oh, you see him out there. Then the second half, it's like, hold up. Is Rashad Bateman even still on the team? Is he there? He was absent. He was not on the field. And it was like, what? what did, this, this, this couldn't be the doghouse, could it? Not over that, that, that tip pick. Not over him possibly running the wrong route. It, could, it couldn't be the doghouse, could it? No, no, there's no way, right? Right? I don't know. So then the following week, just yesterday, Ravens play the Steelers. And Rashad Bateman, he's like, it's, it's spotty. His playtime is like spotty. And it's like, what? where is Bateman? And what, why is there this, just this lack of involvement with Rashad Bateman? This guy was your first round pick for a reason. You clearly saw that you had another need at wide receiver. You drafted him high for a reason. What's going on? So that's why we always say timing is everything. The usage of Rashad Bateman continues to decrease and it decreases drastically. His involvement continues to decrease and it decreases drastically. So this, him getting the new agent, him getting new representation, that scares me. And that scares me in a big way. Because it would not be unheard of. It wouldn't. For him to request a trade next this offseason. It wouldn't be. We've seen it in the NFL because, and again, I hope that, obviously hope that I'm wrong. We still got five games left to, to, to play and hopefully things could turn around. But we've seen it before to where guys, they just not happy and they try to get out of a situation quick. And we've seen guys who have been drafted in the first round get traded from the teams the following year. We've seen that. It's not like that's just something, oh, that never happens. No, it happens. It happens. Teams are willing to move on from players faster now more than ever. And players, yeah, they all about the team, but they got to take care of themselves too. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, he's getting ready to request a trade this offseason, but it's just very scary looking. It, it, it's very scary looking for sure. Like, again, the timing. You were obviously with whatever agency you were with when you got drafted. You've been with, what, with whatever agent you was with throughout the process and throughout this first year. But all of a sudden, now you're getting new representation. Well, maybe the previous representation, representation maybe they okie doked him. Maybe they did something dirty. Maybe they did something where he was like, oh, no, that, that's funny business. I, I ain't messing with that. And ho hopefully, not hoping that he was wrong by anybody, but hopefully that's what the case is. Hopefully that's what the case. Oh, I hope that's what the case is. Because this is scary. It's scary to think about. So I just hope it's, it's nothing where he's like, man, this coaching staff, like, this is not what I came here to do. I'm supposed to be, like, helping. I'm supposed to be involved. I'm supposed to be a part of the offense. And I'm not. And not even that he would have to be on no, in no cocky way, but hey, I'm, I was a first-round draft pick, and... When can I show what I got? They started to, but 
when am I going to get a chance to show what I can do? But again, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's not what it is. So hopefully, and <laughs> I know with a lot of Ravens fans, they done said, oh, we done lost all hope. So hopefully it's not a word that a lot of Ravens fans have been using recently, even before yesterday's game. But hopefully when we read that about him getting a new agent, hopefully uh, it's not him trying to say, I'm out. 